This is AEF School. Learn English through detective stories. Today's story is titled Exile from Space by Judith Merrill. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Let's start. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. Exile from Space by Judith Merrill. Part 1. Who was this strange girl? who had been born in this place, and still it wasn't her home. I don't know where they got the car. We made three or four stops before the last one, and they must have picked it up one of those times. Anyhow, they got it, but they had to make a license plate. Listen a second time and check your answers. Exile from Space by Judith Merrill Part 1 Who was this strange girl? who had been born in this place, and still it wasn't her home. I don't know where they got the car. We made three or four stops before the last one, and they must have picked it up one of those times. Anyhow, they got it, but they had to make a license plate. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. Because it had the wrong kind on it. They made me some clothes, too. A skirt and blouse and shoes that looked just like the ones we saw on television. Listen a second time and check your answers. Because it had the wrong kind on it. They made me some clothes, too. A skirt and blouse and shoes that looked just like the ones we saw on television. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. They couldn't make me a lipstick or any of those things, because there was no way to figure out just what the chemical composition was. Listen a second time and check your answers. They couldn't make me a lipstick or any of those things, because there was no way to figure out just what the chemical composition was. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. And they decided I'd be as well off without any driver's license or automobile registration as I would be with papers that weren't exactly perfect. So they didn't bother about making those either. Listen a second time and check your answers. And they decided I'd be as well off without any driver's license or automobile registration as I would be with papers that weren't exactly perfect. So they didn't bother about making those either. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. They were worried about what to do with my hair, and even thought about cutting it short so it would look more like the women on television. But that was one time I was way ahead of them. I'd seen more shows than anyone else, of course. I watched them almost every minute. Listen a second time and check your answers. They were worried about what to do with my hair and even thought about cutting it short, so it would look more like the women on television. But that was one time I was way ahead of them. I'd seen more shows than anyone else, of course. I watched them almost every minute. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. From the time they told me I was going, and there was one where I'd seen a way to make braids and put them around the top of your head. It wasn't very comfortable. But I practiced at it until it looked pretty good. Listen a second time and check your answers. From the time they told me I was going, and there was one where I'd seen a way to make braids and put them around the top of your head. It wasn't very comfortable, but I practiced at it until it looked pretty good. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. They made me a purse, too. It didn't have anything in it except the diamonds, but the women we saw always seemed to carry them, and they thought it might be a sort of superstition or ritual necessity, and that we'd better not take a chance on violating anything like that. Listen a second time and check your answers. They made me a purse, too. It didn't have anything in it except the diamonds, but the women we saw always seemed to carry them, and they thought it might be a sort of superstition or ritual necessity, and that we'd better not take a chance on violating anything like that. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. 
They made me spend a lot of time practicing with the car, because without a license, I couldn't take a chance on getting into any trouble. I must have put in the better part of an hour starting and stopping and backing that thing, and turning it around and weaving through trees and rocks, before they were satisfied. Listen a second time and check your answers. They made me spend a lot of time practicing with the car, because without a license, I couldn't take a chance on getting into any trouble. I must have put in the better part of an hour starting and stopping and backing that thing, and turning it around and weaving through trees and rocks, before they were satisfied. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. Then, all of a sudden, there was nothing left to do except go. They made me repeat everything one more time, about selling the diamonds, and how to register at the hotel, and what to do if I got into trouble, and how to get in touch with them when I wanted to come back. Listen a second time and check your answers. Then, all of a sudden, there was nothing left to do except go. They made me repeat everything one more time, about selling the diamonds, and how to register at the hotel, and what to do if I got into trouble, and how to get in touch with them when I wanted to come back. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. Then they said goodbye, and made me promise not to stay too long, and said they'd keep in touch the best they could. And then I got in the car, and drove down the hill into town. Listen a second time and check your answers. Then they said goodbye, and made me promise not to stay too long, and said they'd keep in touch the best they could. And then I got in the car, and drove down the hill into town. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. I knew they didn't want to let me go. They were worried, maybe even a little afraid I wouldn't want to come back, but mostly worried that I might say something I shouldn't, or run into some difficulties they hadn't anticipated. And outside of that, they knew they were going to miss me. Listen a second time and check your answers. I knew they didn't want to let me go. They were worried, maybe even a little afraid I wouldn't want to come back, but mostly worried that I might say something I shouldn't, or run into some difficulties they hadn't anticipated. And outside of that, they knew they were going to miss me. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. Yet they'd made up their minds to it. They'd planned it this way, and they felt it was the right thing to do. And certainly they'd put an awful lot of thought and effort and preparation into it. If it hadn't been for that, I might have turned back at the last minute. Listen a second time and check your answers. Yet they'd made up their minds to it. They'd planned it this way, and they felt it was the right thing to do. And certainly they'd put an awful lot of thought and effort and preparation into it. If it hadn't been for that, I might have turned back at the last minute. Listen carefully to the story and fill in the gaps with the correct missing words. Maybe they were worried, but I was petrified. Only, of course, I wanted to go, really. I couldn't help being curious, and it never occurred to me then that I might miss them. It was the first time I'd ever been out on my own, and they'd promised me, for years and years, as far back as I could remember, that someday I'd go back, like this, by myself. But... Listen a second time and check your answers. Maybe they were worried, but I was petrified. Only, of course, I wanted to go, really. I couldn't help being curious, and it never occurred to me then that I might miss them. It was the first time I'd ever been out on my own, and they'd promised me, for years and years, as far back as I could remember, that some day I'd go back, like this, by myself. But... Mm -hmm.